Let's see how we can install Datamosh Fuse on Mac OS for DaVinci Resolve. First of all, we have to download FFmpeg for Mac OS, you can find the binary download links on my website. If your Mac has an M series processor, then download from here, if your Mac is Intel based then download from this website. Both websites are safe and tested. My Mac has M4 chip, so I have to download this one. Wait for the download to complete. Safari browser will automatically extract the zip file, and you will get this FFmpeg file in your downloads folder. Now double click on this file to open it, it will show this permission error, because this file is not from App Store or signed by an Apple developer. To fix this, open the system settings. Then go to the privacy and security section. Scroll down to the bottom and you will find a message saying FFmpeg was blocked. Simply click on the open anyway button. Type your Mac password to give permission to the file. No need to worry as this tool is genuine. You can see the FFmpeg version details in this terminal. Now as we have successfully installed FFmpeg, this is the downloaded plugin file, I have to extract this to get the fuse files. After opening this, we have a new folder. Here we have two .fuse files, simply right click and select the copy option. Now open DaVinci Resolve, switch to the Fusion page, click on the Fusion tab and select Fusion settings, in this window select Path Map, search for the Fuses option and right click on it, click on any of these folder paths. It will open the folder in your finder, simply paste the two Fuse files we copied. Now, the Fuse plugins are installed, but we have to restart our DaVinci Resolve. After restarting, Open the Fusion page and search for the Datamosh Classic plugin in the node menu. After clicking on this node, you will find some settings on the inspector window. Click on this browse button of FFmpeg path option. Now search and select the FFmpeg file we downloaded. Now everything is completed. To use this plugin, first import the video and connect it with the Datamosh node like this, Simply adjust the controls and the datamosh modes, then click on the datamosh button, wait for a few seconds and you will find the rendered file in the media pool, import that new file and connect it with green channel to view the result. Here is the datamosh effect we got. Also note that if you are using DaVinci Resolve from the App Store, then this plugin shows an error as operation not permitted, I recommend those users to download Resolve from the official BMD website. If you still get some permission error, you can simply go to Privacy Security section and add both DaVinci Resolve and FFmpeg in full disk access. Also note that if you don't install FFmpeg, then it will show you error as shffmpeg command not found, so follow the steps to install FFmpeg properly. Thanks for watching.